Hello, I'm Kimberly Berry, Assistive Technology Teacher at Oklahoma Able Tech and Certified Teacher of the Visually Impaired. Welcome to AT101. In this segment, we provide an overview of assistive technology, including some important definitions and types of AT students often need. So to start off with, what is an assistive technology device? The term is defined under the Assistive Technology Act of 1988 as reauthorized in 2004. An AT device is any item, piece of equipment, or product system, whether acquired commercially, off the shelf, modified, or customized, that is used to increase, maintain, or improve functional capabilities of a person with disabilities. Surgically implanted medical devices and their repair or replacement are not included in this definition. It's important to note that assistive technology services must also be included with AT devices. The Assistive Technology Act defines assistive technology service as any service that directly assists persons with a disability in the selection, acquisition, or use of an assistive technology device. A less technical working definition we like to use for AT is anything that makes a task easier, better, faster, or more efficient. For a student with a disability, using AT may mean the difference between completing the task successfully or not and between being able to learn in varied settings or having to stay in the special education classroom. Now let's look at some examples of AT according to the need or impairment that it addresses. Other Able Tech videos and resources will go into more detail on the laws and regulations that require schools to provide assistive technology to students who need it. Starting off with visual impairment, a student with some useful vision may need a relatively low-tech magnification system, whereas a student with little to no vision may need a high-tech screen reading software. Additionally, a student with visual impairment may need accessible instructional materials which require the use of an assistive technology device with text-to-speech software. For a student with hearing loss, a teacher could incorporate a visual timer. The student may use a personal sound magnification system, or the school might install a hearing loop throughout the building. Someone with a physical impairment may need alternate input devices for a computer, such as switch input or voice dictation software. A student with physical impairment may also need accessible instructional materials on a lightweight mobile device. A person who is unable to use his voice to communicate may use a picture communication system a speech generating device, or a low-tech device that records a short message for easy playback. And someone with a learning impairment may benefit from the reading and writing supports provided by literacy software. Such a student may also benefit from the use of manipulatives for learning math and possibly accessible instructional materials and software that provides highlighting and text-to-speech. These are just a few examples of AT solutions that might be needed by a student. To learn more about specific AT devices and methods of selection, acquisition, and use of an assistive technology device, please visit our website and feel free to call or email us if you have any questions. Our website address is okabletech.okstate.edu. My direct line is area code 405-744-8342 or you can reach us toll free at 800-257-1705. You can also send us an email to abletech at okstate.edu. That's all for this segment and overview of assistive technology. Thank you for watching.